Hi all, uh, Nathan here from FVR Contracting. Uh, although today slash tonight uh, I'm here to talk to you in my capacity as the Occupational Shooting Representative for Shooters Union Australia, uh, which is a volunteer position that I've been filling for some time. Uh, currently I'm up in far north Queensland uh, working on a thermal based ground shooting program, uh, so the office looks a little bit different to, uh, to usual. Um, as most of you watching it be aware, um, we're pushing uh, fairly hard in Queensland right now uh, to have suppressors move from Category R into an alternate category which would then enable their use by occupational shooters uh, and primary producers and therefore significantly enhance uh, workplace health and safety outcomes and compliance. Um, we had some positive news uh, approximately a week ago. Uh, with the Queensland Police Minister acknowledging on more than one occasion uh, that he's looking into shifting suppressors uh, into an alternate category uh, in light of the significant amount of correspondence uh, that has been through his office uh, over the preceding uh, years, and it has been years. So in Queensland, uh, we have a lot of legislation uh, that we as business owners are required to be compliant with, and all too often uh, that process can be a one-way street uh, with little benefit seen from all of that compliance. Um, workplace health and safety, uh, it's a serious issue. Uh, it's a heavily regulated both in Queensland and nationally. And as such, uh, it should be afforded a high priority and taken very seriously by Queensland business owners. It's patently clear uh, at this point uh, that WorkSafe Queensland should be in full support of the introduction uh, of an engineering control to reduce the exposure and impact of high volume firearms noise. Uh, that we as occupational firearms users are subjected to. The reality is though, uh, as business owners, we've not really done our job. Uh, we've not made the effort to seek out the support of WorkSafe Queensland uh, and to assist them in understanding and codifying the gravity of the issue that is faced by professional firearms users and primary producers, inclusive of the inconsistency of current Queensland weapons regulations regarding suppressors uh, in consideration of what the majority of other states in Australia have been doing for a number of years in terms of enabling access to suppressors for professionals and uh, primary producers. So personally, I fire tens of thousands of rounds a year and the only protection that I have uh, to reduce noise exposure comes in the form of personal protective equipment uh, that has comparably little effect in terms of uh, impacting overall firearms uh, noise and volume. Obviously PPE uh, is at the bottom of the workplace health and safety hierarchy and, and this is the sort of stuff that we have to deal with as occupational use, users of firearms currently. So hearing protection, or, you know, hearing protection uh, that's required. You know, for me personally, obviously shooting glasses, it's unrelated to uh, that issue. Gloves to reduce hand shock from uh, firearms and the limited degree uh, that we can do to reduce firearms noise by running a blast jacket, uh, which as you can see there is just a hollow tube which just stops that muzzle blast from being directed at your ears. However, all these uh, measures are at the bottom of the, uh, the hierarchy uh, of uh, controls from a WHS perspective. So personal protective equipment is not really the way to go, uh, particularly when there is a suitable solution uh, that is available in nearly every other state in Australia, uh, just not available uh, in Queensland. Now, in all seriousness, um, you know, it, it's highly illegal to drive around uh, in a car uh, without a muffler. Um, you just wouldn't be told to put some earplugs in and crack on. Uh, but at the moment, uh, that is what we're being told to do in Queensland with relation to firearms noise. And you'll see uh, in the comments uh, on this video, uh, as a pinned comment, there's a uh, whole bunch of uh, listed reasons uh, which you can uh, look to um, as you uh, move forwards with uh, your support on this issue uh, to understand and assist how PPE uh, isn't the right answer in terms of reducing firearms noise, but we'll talk more about that in a minute. Okay, so... Um, with the series of videos that I've put up um, over the last couple of weeks, I've had a significant amount of inquiry uh, from Queensland primary producers and professional shooters seeking ways to get involved uh, in this issue uh, and enhance WHS or workplace health and safety outcomes um, for their business. Um, so with that in mind, the, the following is how you can help. So to assist WorkSafe Queensland, uh, which are the, the primary um, agency in Queensland for workplace health and safety, uh, in better understanding this issue uh, and the impacts that it has, it'd be very helpful for Queensland businesses uh, that do use firearms occupationally to lodge a workplace concern form, uh, which is an electronic form with WorkSafe Queensland, which will then assist them in understanding the scope and scale of the issue 
and enable them to provide some better advice to the relevant ministers in Queensland uh, through the Queensland Safety Regulator. So I lodged one of these forms last week, uh, it took me about 10 minutes to put it in. Okay, and for reference, uh, when you wish to lodge your forms, because that's something you can do on these, is reference other forms so that the uh, people understand that the issue uh, is collaborated uh, and is consistent across a number of uh, areas. The reference number for mine uh, is 74911. I'll put more up on that uh, later. So as a workplace health and safety focused business owner, uh, who uses firearms. It'll also be useful to have uh, this workplace concern form uh, on hand as uh, evidence uh, of your concerns and your workplace health and safety compliance um, when suppressors do become available under permit in Queensland uh, and you're applying for one under the relevant category once they've been shifted out of category R. Now we don't know what that category is going to be yet but it's pretty likely it'll probably fall into uh, category C uh, or thereabouts. So the criteria required to lodge one of these uh, workplace uh, safety concern forms um, is that you are a Queensland based business, uh, you have an ABN uh, obviously as a business, you have a Queensland firearms licence, so class AB is fine, uh, the licensing doesn't have to be strictly occupational uh, and that's particularly in mind of the weapons license, licensing policy uh, with primary producers where for a lot of primary producers, they've issued a standard AB licence instead of an occupational licence. You know, um, so that's uh, one of the things that they've done over time. Um, so don't let that get in the way of uh, putting a uh, form in. Providing you carry and use firearms as part of your day-to-day -day duties, it's still suitable to lodge a workplace concern um, with that detail on it. Okay, and obviously your business activities uh, require the use of firearms. So there's a bunch of industries that that may be relevant, but included and not limited to primary producer, professional pest controller, vet, or commercial fisherman as examples. So I'm just gonna put up the, uh, the WorkSafe uh, Queensland link now uh, to that form, uh, which you can essentially cut and paste into your browser uh, and then uh, go from there. So with this form to lodge a workplace concern, uh, it's a pretty simple matter of uh, including your details and then following the bouncing ball through the document. Uh, and in the description component, add something along the lines of, due to inadequate Queensland firearms legislation, uh, Queensland has not been brought into line with other Australian states and territories with regards to the issuing of suppressors to occupational users of firearms with only inadequate PPE solutions available to resolve the issue of noise exposure related to firearms. It's requested that WorkSafe Queensland provide assistance and support to the current process going through the Queensland Police Minister's Office to make available a more suitable engineering solution, i.e. suppressors, uh, as per other Australian states and territories. As I said earlier in the video, uh, you can also list my submission to WorkSafe as a reference with uh, workplace concern number 749. So once you've um, lodged one of your uh, workplace uh, concerns for your workplace, I'd be appreciated if you could flick me a quick email uh, to my Shooters Union uh, email address. That address is occupationalshooter at shootersunion.com.au. So essentially, um, just be handy to uh, track the number of submissions that have been made uh, and we'll use some of that data to, uh, to support the, uh, the issue moving forwards. Uh, obviously, I don't need any detail in that. Just the fact that you've lodged a workplace concern uh, is sufficient. I don't need to know the specifics of what you've actually lodged uh, in terms of your description, etc. Okay, um, as I mentioned earlier, in the comments section on this video, you can see a pinned comment, uh, which has a significant amount of detail on the specifics of why PPE is not an acceptable solution to firearms noise exposure. Uh, feel free to include this information in your submission uh, should you wish to do so, but there's quite a bit of uh, fairly simple data there which will uh, be useful uh, in uh, articulating uh, your issues uh, in, in that document. So again, uh, as I said at the start, we've had a significant amount of interest from people wanting to get involved. The WorkSafe process is there specifically to resolve workplace safety issues and it is perfectly suitable to use in this context. So, if you're an occupational user of firearms or a primary producer, please lodge one of these electronic forms. As I said, it takes five to 10 minutes. Shoot me through an email uh, so we can track the process and we'll, uh, we'll hopefully uh, be able to provide uh, some good data uh, moving forwards to both WorkSafe uh, and to assist the, uh, the process to ensure that suppressors, uh, when they come into Queensland, 
uh, find themselves in an appropriate category and available for appropriate people being uh, the entire occupational shooting segment. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to, uh, to put them uh, in the comments. We'll answer where we can. As I said, um, lots of engagement um, over the last couple of weeks from various people with uh, ideas on how to move forwards. But the reality is we are moving forwards um, and the time for good ideas is not necessarily now. Uh, the time for getting stuff done by actually putting your money where your mouth is uh, and lodging uh, your concerns about these sorts of issues uh, is where we are at the moment. So uh, let's take some action, let's support the issue um, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get this moving fairly quickly. Anyway, again, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, good luck with uh, submitting your forms. Cheers.